In this lab, we're going to investigate how you can measure the density of a variety of solids and liquids. The first thing you'll do is properly set and tear the balance by setting the value to zero, just simply tapping the main bar, and you need it to go to zero in order to accurately measure any mass that you are using. You can place anything on the balance to measure it to make sure that it's properly centered on the balance pan and does not slide off the pan. For practice, you can weigh a variety of objects to see how their mass changes depending upon the size that they have, such as keys, test tubes, cell phones, whatever you have. Next, you're going to test the measurement of the density of a liquid. For our purposes, we'll start with measuring the density of water. First, you'll need to measure the mass of a graduated cylinder. Then fill it to about a 9 or 10 milliliters of volume and record the mass once again. To record the volume in the graduated cylinder, you want to carefully measure the meniscus on the gradations. Be careful to look level at the level of the meniscus, not from above or below. You may wish to use a burette reading card to help you identify exactly where the meniscus is positioned. To determine the density of an unknown liquid, you will first need to record the mass of a dry, empty graduated cylinder. Add a volume of the unknown liquid to it, and record the volume added. Then finally, record the mass of the graduated cylinder with the unknown liquid in it to determine how much mass has been added. Finally, you'll determine the density of a solid. The mass of the solid can be measured on a balance. Determining the volume of a solid is significantly more challenging. One approach is to attempt to measure it using a ruler. A simpler and more accurate measurement of the volume of a solid can be achieved through displacement. To do this, we'll take a larger graduated cylinder and fill it with about 50 milliliters of water. After recording the volume of water in the graduated cylinder, you can very carefully add the solid to the cylinder. Be sure not to splash any of the water out of the cylinder. With the solid in the graduated cylinder, remeasure the volume of liquid in the cylinder. The difference between this reading and the original reading is the volume of the solid. The difference in mass of the cylinder from the original weight is obviously the weight of the solid.